Hi, I'm Carmetta. Welcome to episode 17 of Refashion Series. If you're new around here, I love to refashion where I basically take old thrifted items or pieces I inherited from my grandmother and turn them into new modern wearable pieces. Today I'm excited because I'm going to share with you how I took my grandmother's scarf and turned it into these three different bows using three different methods. The first things we're going to make are the bow ties. So this scarf that I'm starting with is made of silk. So I have my serger here and to do a world hem on silk, I'm going to make a few adjustments. I'm going to remove this thing. Well, I've already removed it. It's called the stitch finger and to remove it, I just kind of pulled on it and there's like a little lever down there that you release and it helps it come off. I'm also going to remove one of my needles using the tool that came with my serger. You just turn it counterclockwise and then it loosens the needles and I'm going to remove, I think it's the left needle. And then I have changed my settings so that it will do a rolled hem. So to make this ribbon or this bow, I'm cutting out a ribbon and I'm going to do the rolled hem, attaching the ribbon to the silk to give it just a little bit more strength because I'm nervous that it won't be sturdy enough or have enough stability to make a, a good bow tie without it. So I have pinned it here and I'm gonna go ahead and do that rolled hem on my serger, attaching the silk piece to the ribbon piece that is behind it. Obviously this is my serger. You can kind of see the settings that I'm using and I do have a wooly thread on the back, a wooly nylon thread. And here's the settings on the side. I do use an Expo marker to help me remember the settings that I'm using for different projects. This is what it looks like after I've done that rolled hem all around the edges of the silk piece and the ribbon piece. And now I'm trying to figure out exactly what size I want this bow tie to be. So I originally wasn't gonna make a bow tie, that's why it's kind of a funky shape with the ribbon. So here I'm gonna change it to a bow tie shape and I'm gonna go ahead and just pinch it, figure it out. I'm gonna do my serge rolled hem right here. And this is what it looks like after I've done that. So I'm gonna flip it right side out I'm gonna make sure that seam is in the center back and even though it doesn't match up exactly the widths, when you gather it to make the bow shape, it'll hide that seam. So that is not a big deal at all. I'm not concerned about that. Now to create this little pinch shape, what I need to do is make a center piece. So I've searched a smaller piece that will go around the center and then I'm gonna use some hot glue to help me create the pinch that I want. So I'm pinching it with my fingers until I got it exactly where I want and then I have my handy glue gun right here. I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of glue. If you add too much, it makes it really hard to make the bow tie look elegant because it kind of bulks it up and makes it awkward. So just a little bit of glue there, pinching it, and once that's dry and ready to go, we're gonna go ahead and add that serge piece around the center. So here I am just prepping it, getting ready to glue it on. And I'm also going to attach it using a alligator clip. So here I am just being a little finicky, getting it exactly how I want it before I glue it because it's hard to go back once you glue it, especially when you're working with a delicate fabric like a silk. So I've glued it on, I am putting the alligator clip on and I just clip it onto the ribbon and then glue it directly through the back of the clip. So the glue goes through the back of the clip and the ribbon like this and then you just glue underneath it like this and then just press it down making sure it's nice and taut and then in a second we will cut off the excess fabric and finish the seam with a little bit of fray check and I've cut it off at this point and I'm opening up my fray check and just adding a thin line to that raw edge so it doesn't fray as it's worn the fray check takes about 30 minutes to dry completely and once it's done, you are ready to go. Voila! Here is my cute son Cam wearing the bow tie. It's super fun because the scarf was from my great grandma. Now when I finished that bow tie, I was like, hey, let's do it again. Let's try to make a no-sew bow tie. So to do that, I made the fabric, well, I stabilized the fabric with some interfacing, but I will say this, I think my interfacing was a little bit too thick. Anyway, I am in workout clothes, I'm not naked, but that's why my shoulder is showing. So to begin this bow tie, I'm using my hot glue gun and I'm folding in the raw edges and carefully placing them down. In retro retrospect, I think it would have been smart to iron it and then hot glue it, but 
you know, hindsight is 2020. So there we go. I have placed those edges in and now I'm going to fold the sides in to create a bow shape. And I'm just kind of playing around with how wide I want that bow to be and where I want to glue it in. Once I feel good about it, I just make a crisscross glue shape and I stick those edges down. At this point, I am realizing that the interfacing is a little bit thick, but I've already committed, so I'm going for it. And here's that center piece. I did actually iron those edges down because I had learned my lesson with the first time. So I ironed them down and then I stuck some glue in there. And here I have wrapped that center piece around the bow just like I did with the first bow tie that I made. Again, making sure that it's pinched nice and tight around the middle, getting those gathers where I want. And then I'm gonna go ahead and glue on to this alligator clip, which I usually just like to clip it on and then glue it. So this one is the one that Camden is wearing again. He's on the right. And they look so awesome. And in a second, you can see what they look like with them on. Hey, you see the most beautiful girl. What kind of face are you gonna make at her? <laughs> Parker. <laughs> Camden, do it again. Oh, that's pretty good, Eli. <laughs> My kids are awesome. So let's get started with the sailor bow part of this tutorial. So I have a lot of extra fabric left and when I finished this, I still had about half my scarf left to make other accessories. So for the sailor bow, I'm just cutting about three inches wide and I'm making sure that I have angled ends because you want them angled for the sailor bow. So I have done that rolled hem all the way around the edges of my piece and then you just overlap the edges like this so the crisscross and then you pinch down and you gather the bow like this. It's really quite simple and I actually like that it's not stabilized with anything because it looks really delicate and feminine. And then I have a little piece that I hot glued um, in half and I'm gonna just wrap it around the alligator clip like I did with the other two bows. And this is the final product. Isn't that cute and sweet? I made these for my sisters as well. So Sabrina has the scrunchie and then my sister Candace is gonna get one of these. And then Deanna said her hair is too short so she doesn't want one. But I am really happy to be able to share something from Meta with so many family members. So this is what it looks like in my hair. And then here's some video footage of it in action. I just love it, I think it's so fun. So these are the three bows we made today in these tutorials. And if you're interested, I did make another tutorial using the same scarf. I made a scrunchie for my sister, Sabrina, and you can see that in this photo here on the right. And that is episode 16 of Refashion Series. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please comment, like, subscribe, and I'm excited to see you next time.